guys, it is me, Stace. I am back again today with another Saturday video. Today I want to share with you how to create this really fun pinwheel card. I was asked if I can share how to make the pinwheel. Isn't that super cute? I did not do the inside. You can see this one is just blue and polka dot. This one is green and floral. Alright, so to get started, the first thing you want to need is a piece of cardstock for the base of the card. I just chose this gray, 8.5 by 5.5. I scored it four and a quarter to make our card base. Then I have a piece of lighter gray. This is four by five and a quarter for the top, and I did run that through my Big Shot using a polka dot embossing folder. Then I have two pieces of the same gray cardstock. These both measure two and five eighths by two and five eighths. Then we have eight squares. These all measure one and one fourth by one and one fourth. And you want four in one pattern and four in the other. Okay, so there's my four squares. All right, so we're going to work with this part first. I'm going to lay this one down on my mat, lining up the points on the lines. Okay, I'm going to take my glue. I'm using Art Glitter Glue. I get this from MamieMadeIt.com. I'm going to put some glue on the back. I'm going to put this one on top like that. Okay, so there's the shape we created. All right, now... We're going to take our squares, alternate them, and then line them up on the corners of all these pieces. So the first one, I'm going to put glue on just about half of it, leaving about an eighth of an inch of the gray in the background showing. I'm going to do the other side, or the other pattern. And again, I'm just taking it and lining it up on the point, leaving about, again, about an eighth of a border showing. Just rotate it and keep on going. This is a really fun card to make and I think it would be different or look different depending on the kind of paper you use. And the hardest part I found out of this whole process is the very last piece. I do struggle with that one. So you can see I'm just alternating my paper or the patterns just lining them up in the corner of that piece, leaving about an eighth of an inch opening, or an eighth of an inch showing, rather. Okay, and we have this one here. Now this is where it's going to get tricky, because we're on our last piece. You want this piece to go over that one, but under this one. So what I'm gonna do is take my Cricut spatula and just pry this open a little bit. Just, to, just enough so I'm able to get under there. You could also just glue this one half. That would definitely make it easier. Okay, just trying to get in there without ruining it. Okay, put glue on this one. Lift this piece up. This one's going to go up, and we're going to go under that one. Okay, again, you want to have that border showing. Okay, and you just give it a push. Okay, so what you can see there, open up that one to get under that. Now I just take some glue, and put some glue behind that to hold that back down. Just like that, and nobody will ever know we lifted that up. And there's the pinwheel. Super cute, right? I'm gonna flip it over and put some foam squares on it. I'm gonna use five, the four corners, and then one in the middle. I also get these from maymaymadeit.com as well. All right, so now I'm gonna wrap some twine around this one. This is just some um, linen thread from a paper tray ink. I'm gonna grab my scotch tape. I'm working at the bottom, bring it around the back, putting tape on it, grab another piece of tape to hold the other side down, and then just wrap it around this piece here. And then just, again, flip it over, tape it. Cut off the extra if you have a lot. And 
I'm going to take this one and glue this to the front. So like I said, this card will look so different depending on the papers. I think that's the hardest part is picking out the papers you want to use. But I think it would be really, really pretty with Christmas paper on it. And I kind of like the gray on gray look. Kind of different than just everyday white mat. All right, going to give them a squish, take the backing off. So hopefully my instructions were, oop, before I do that, I have a button. You can of course poke a hole in the top of that, put a brad in there. I just have a button that I went ahead and put some sticky strip on the back for that. So I'm going to put this in the middle, hopefully. Like that, making sure it's straight. And then we'll go ahead and put the button on the top of that to kind of hide the center. So there's what the gray one looks like. Hopefully the camera's picking up on the pattern. Then we have this one. I really do like this one as well. And you can see this one I just used white in the back. And this one we just used blue. So see the difference with the patterns? Blue, more like a Christmas theme with the papers, and then Definitely a male version of it. So there you have it. Three different versions of the pinwheel card. Any questions, guys, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.